Linda from Gloucester has sent an email in through the Whiteley Clinic website asking a very good question about pelvic vein embolization. She's asked us what happens to the veins in the pelvis once we've embolized them. In medicine, embolization often means something flying off, but that's not what's meant when we use the term in pelvic vein embolization. In pelvic vein embolization, what we do is we actually put coils down into the vein, so we actually stop that vein from working. What the research shows is, provided it's done properly using the Whiteley Clinic techniques, the coil or foam sitting inside that vein makes that vein die and shrivel away permanently. Although it may sound frightening to hear a vein dying, it's actually a process called apoptosis. And that means that when that vein disappears, it goes into just scar tissue and can never open up again. Because we use transvaginal duplex ultrasound scan using our specialist scanners to target exactly the veins we want to target, and because we use this embolization which permanently gets rid of those veins, that's why our patients get such good results. Pelvic vein embolization is a sophisticated but simple pinhole procedure performed in an outpatient setting much like a dental surgery. Pelvic congestion syndrome really affects women more than it affects men, although it is possible for men to get a form of pelvic congestion syndrome. The complexity of pelvic congestion syndrome is really down to the complexity of the female pelvis.